Since we're pretty early, there are three of them. That's not good. It does only take, like, two combos to uh, kill one enemy, though, so it's not too difficult to get through. There we go. I've got chest these, don't worry. No problem. Nope. Always three. Got it. Well done, team. Well done. 48. Not bad. Not bad. There was one guard that was only worth 15 EXP. All the others have been worth 16. That guy must have been a newbie or something. Ah, so I could lock it from this side. Or unlock it from this side. Okay, so this is linked back to where we were earlier because I opened that chest. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to fight, like, literally everyone I come across just so we can get some early level ups going. Hopefully make it easier for us as we run into bosses and whatnot later on. Especially since we're running a party of just two at the moment instead of the usual tales of four, which I'm sure we'll get to four later. But until we get to that point, getting a couple of extra... That was dumb of me. Getting a few extra level ups will go a long way in helping us uh, do well at the start of the game. Extra baggage. I just wanted to check on the lower quarter and come back. I didn't expect the extra baggage. Baggage? I could take it to the castles lost and found for you. Oh my goodness. You're the one person I couldn't really ask to take care of it. Huh? Never mind. I'm good. Okay, let me know if you change your mind. Guess she's the textbook little naive noble. But why were those knights chasing her? Yeah, she is very naive. Or she's, like, playing it up very effectively. Bring on all the triple knights you want. I will gladly take all the EXP. I'm getting stun locked. Make it stop. There we go. All right. One down. Now this becomes a thousand times easier. Hey, 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 hey. Leave the princess alone. Get out of here. No, come back. You don't understand. You're not dead yet. There we go. Yeah, level up. What level are we now? What is it? Triangle opens the menu in this game? Yeah. Level 7 and level 6 for Estelise, and she's uh, a good bit away from her next level up. But getting there. So she's only about half a level behind Yuri. That's not too bad. Hey, you. Give me your sweet, sweet EXP. Only two this time. Not as up. Oh, I learned Cerberus Strike. That's a pretty classic Tails move, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I, classic isn't the word I should use. Because as far as I'm aware, it might have only existed in this game and then onward. But I know it's in Zillia, and I think it's also in Berseria. Maybe Zestiria. Might have been in Abyss and Symphonia. I can't remember, but it's one that comes up a lot. So... Quickly punch the enemy three times. I think I'd rather have Server Strike on my default. And then we'll have Azure Edge. We'll have Azure Edge on the side click one. And I mean, like, until I get other arts to put on down and up, I may as well have those there. But Server Strike is normal circle, left or right, and I get, uh, whoops. And I get Azure Edge. Got it. Works for me. Hello, you foolish fools. I have come to destroy you. You know what? That was well played by both of you. Yeah, you've uh, really thought this out. Dang it. Stupid long-range weapons. No, my, you didn't let me get the third punch off. It only works if I get the third punch. Let me show you. Uh, no, that was a zero edge. My mistake. Yeah, three punches. There we go. Is Cerberus Strike always a punching move? I thought it was like a fire move in Zillia or something. I can't remember. I mean, Cerberus normally associated with fire. Because, uh, Dog of the Underworld and all that. Three heads breeds fire, typically. Darkness and fire is what's associated with. Dang it. Estelise, I had to think of your name for saying that. That's why I was quiet. Estelise, I need you to start, like, actually getting physical in these fights a little bit more. I need a little more backup than just being hit by three enemies while you cast. Yes, these are very amazing Japanese words you've just spoken. Like I said, you can probably look up, uh, you can look up, I know uh, there are a lot of, uh, victory quote compilations on YouTube in English and Japanese alike of all of the Tales games, I'm pretty sure. I've watched the ones for Zillia Graces and Zillia 2, and I think Berseria before, because they're fun to watch from time to time. I think I also watched Abysses. But, uh, so you can totally find the victory quotes online for... Vesperia, probably from the Xbox's English version, 
which uh, the Xbox game is apparently doesn't have as much content as this game. This game, I don't think I know if I mentioned it or not, but you know, the PS3 version was only in Japanese, and part of the reason I went through the trouble of getting this in English and doing the playthrough of the uh, Japanese version of the game is because I didn't have an Xbox to record readily, but I had a PS3 ready to go and record. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the PS3 version apparently has, like, more content. It's better fleshed out. There's, like, a whole other character you can unlock and uh, other things. So, definitely worth doing this. Are there many people outside the castle, like that man Zaggy we met earlier? Nah, he's one of a kind. It's pretty hard to find anyone that nuts. I would hope so. I see. Well, that's a relief. I don't know what I'd do if everyone behaved like that. Yeah, life would be pretty rough if the world were full of guys like him. Alright, that was a much shorter skit than I thought it would be. So, is this... Esteliz is obviously, like, she gotta be the princess. The crown princess at that. Apparently in an emperorless town. Emperorless town. Is, uh... Has she, like, is it the standard, like, hey, this princess has been kept in the castle her entire life, knows nothing of the outside world, basically? Is that what we're going with? That was the unfair guard that is not as equal as everyone else that only gives 15 EXP. What a nerd. I should have gone the other way first. Wait a minute. Go back. Also, that appeared to be an angel being struck down by a sword. Pretty creepy. We'll be seen from here. Let's look for another way. Okay, can't go that way. Flynn. Have you and Flynn known each other for a long time? Uh, two, maybe three years? Something like that. Huh. So he's been getting along all right at the castle. Flynn is a very hard-working and honest knight. It seems like everyone trusts him. The other day, he told me that they've been giving him more responsibility lately, too. Hard-working and honest. Right. In other words, hard-headed and obsessive. Eh, that's one way of looking at it. Alright. Do -do 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 -do. What's up with the statue? Wait a minute. No, the chest! No, I saw the chest too late! This must be it. Is there something special about this statue? I mean, other than the fact that it's getting pierced. Is it is being pierced by the sword or is it holding the sword? It's hard to tell because the sword and the statue are the same color. It's supposed to have some sort of secret. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly secretive about it. Maybe if we moved it, there'd be a hidden passage or something. You don't think. Well, we won't know unless we give it a try. But, like, let me get the... Okay, hold X to grab. That's fine. Push or pull. Yeah, basic stuff. Let me take these chests. Apple gel. Pretty useful. What, a, what about here? What do we got? Orange gel. Also pretty useful. I would argue that apple gel is more so, but that's also pretty good. So grab it, pull it to me. Oh yeah, easy. It's just like barely hidden at all. It really worked! What do we have here? Looks like the old man was right. Do you think this will lead outside? I can't guarantee it. Well, I'm going down. How about you? I'm coming too. Alright, good. That's pretty brave of you. Who was that guy, anyway? There was something shady about him. The way he broke down the door, started laughing crazily, sliced up his own uh, Abarume clan companion. It was really weird. Unless you're talking about the guy that was in the prison cell. In which case, he's like super main character. What is it? Did you change your mind? No, your hand. It's injured. Let me take a look at it. I pressed X too soon, dang it. Huh. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I'd never seen a blast deal like that. I I wasn't thinking. That's really all it was? That's really all it was. My hand feels better. Thank you. No, it's the least I could do. Alright, let's go. Sometimes I say the words, like, I read a sentence, and then I say it how I would say it, instead of actually reading it word for word. And of course, as always with Tales games, we're in a sewer section of the game. I swear, this happens in at least, like, 80% of Tales games. You go through a sewer at some point. I mean, I, I know we went through a sewer in Symphonia. I don't remember if we did an Abyss or not. I know we did in... Did we go through an... I think we went through a sewer in Graces. 
I know Zillia, we went through a sewer at the very beginning of the game, just like we're doing right now. That's actually where Jude and Mila met, was outside of said sewer. Um, Zillia 2, did you go through a sewer? I can't remember. I know you didn't Zestiria, and I'm fairly certain you didn't Berseria as well. So it might actually be more like 50% of Tales games, but all I know is that they're normally not that fun to go through. So there are monsters down here too. Monsters. That's what these things are? You've never seen one before. Ah, uh, the uh, bad, bad gibberish. Oh no, it's Saws. Well, let's hurry up and take care of this, shall we? Well, there are a lot of them. Yuri, they're coming from the front, too. Ah, this is annoying. Whatever, let's do it. Encounter Link. Oh, this is like an actual thing. This just makes a bunch more enemies pop up, I'm assuming it looks like. Get him. Get him with the triple punch. You can't stop the Cerberus strike. Ow. Sometimes the sword, like, goes over its head when I'm swinging at it. It's, it's a nice attention to detail, but also kind of annoying. Dang it, don't interrupt the three, the three strikes, man. You can't do that. It's not okay. So the size of enemies actually does take effect in this game, you know. Can be irritating at times, but it is a nice touch of realism. But up, but up, but I love how Server Strike actually is just three quick jabs. It's really cool. There we go. That took a minute. Tons of EXP though, totally worth. And we got a magic lens. Nice. That should take care of it. I didn't know what to do when they all attack at once. You generally have to defeat each monster one by one, but sometimes they come in groups. Really? We should be careful when we go ahead. You can take on a monster one at a time, or take them on in a group. Your choice. Yuri, which way do you think we should go? Whichever. Let's just get out of here. How much time do I have? I'm only a little bit over half an hour. Cool. Ah, wait. Wait for me. Uh, when you come in contact with an enemy symbol, monsters that are a part of nearby enemy symbols will enter the battle as well. If you're not careful, you will have to face a large group of enemies. Got it. Do, 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 do. Be thankful to strangers. I need to thank whoever told you about this underground passage. Why would you need to be thankful for something like that? I'm trying to get out of the castle, just like you. That's all well and good, but there's no need to be all thankful because of it. Oh no, we must show courtesy to those who show us kindness. Sort of weird to be polite to somebody you've never met, don't you think? Manners are never so important as when dealing with those with whom we have yet to be acquainted. Oh my goodness. You really think so, huh? I know so. She is 100% sheltered princess. More so than Natalia was, for sure. Okay. I love Cerberus Strike. It's as of right now, out of the two arts I have, it is my favorite. Ow. I accidentally tried to use Azure Edge there. Azure, Azure. I pronounce it differently like every time I say it. It's so good, man. Also, I've just taken note of the fact that Yuri is left handed. But he switches the sword between left and right, it seems. Dude, what? But that was so cool, but unnecessary. Nice and level up. Give me this. Life bottle, always handy. Want as many of those as we can get. Still don't know what the Tinkerbell dust does after we get out of a fight, but I assume I'll know one day. It's so good. Whoa. She learned something. Sharpness. Why would you use the sharpness on yourself and not me? I'm the one doing all the combat. Come here, you stupid chubby mouse thing. Whatever the heck you are. Oh, come on. Get out of here. There we go. Easy. I like that we're getting all these magic lenses. We're probably gonna have a boss fight at the end of this, uh, as I say that, I got another one out of a chest. Probably gonna have a boss fight at the end of this sewer portion. Definitely wanna be able to magic lens the boss. Oh, there are four of them this time. Bring it. I don't like that these tiny rats take more than one combo plus server strike to kill. I'd like my rats to be a little bit weaker than this. Stop guarding, you stupid mouse thing. There we go. Yes, all of those words. I'm not going to bother listening to the uh, the uh, victory quotes since we can't understand them. If you can speak Japanese and you understand them, I apologize. 
do 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 Give me this chest. Nice and holy bottle. I don't remember what those do. I think they make it where less enemies appear or something like that. I don't know. There you go. Gimme, gimme. Uh, I think the right is the way we need to go, so over here should be a chest, maybe? Yeah. Good call, me. Good call. I do like the... The spin around the room motion we get at the start of fights. That's pretty nice. This mouse is like especially small. Oh, dude, you know what? You can totally hold down when attacking and do low attacks. I think you've been able to do that in other Tales games as well. Honestly, you might have been able to do it in literally every Tales game, and I've just forgotten. But, uh, you know, when fighting the small rats, really helpful. Nice and 200 gold. Slowly but surely building up our riches. Hello. Yes, Japanese words. What he said. I don't think you can aim Cerberus Strike downward, unfortunately. I do like hitting basically all of the enemies at one time, though. It's pretty nice. You're all that remains, buddy. There we go. Nice and level up. Becoming more and more powerful as time goes on. Which is the standard for RPGs and JRPGs. How many of these rats am I going to have to fight before I get out of here? I mean, I know that I'm purposefully running into literally every single one of them, mainly for experience purposes, but still. Like, come on. I blame the game entirely for all this combat because they gave me the option. Giving me the option is a horrible idea. The game should never trust on me to make a call of any kind. There we go. These things drop magic lenses like it's nothing. Oh, that's, that's the way out. I don't want that just yet. I just heard my phone go off. Where's my... Hold up. Fight this enemy, then I gotta figure out where my phone is. There it is. Okay. I have to make sure that I didn't just get an important message of some kind that needs to be checked right now, because you never know. Kill these things first, and then I'll get on that. Get out of here, you stupid little mice. Rats. Scum. Vermin. I don't know. Other synonyms for your existence. There you go. Alright, what was this? Okay, it's not- it's- it's something that I do need to address, but it can be done after I finish recording. Yeah, because I only got a little over 20 more minutes to go. I can deal with this afterwards. Do 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 Get this out of here. I'm glad that we're dealing with the sewer section early. Because that means it's not going to be that much of a hassle. Man, it's bright. You're telling me. It is literally a white screen. The birds are chirping. The trees are green. The clouds are white. The sky is blue. I'm just naming the colors of things now. It's a nice day. It is a nice day. Ha! Ah, it's already morning. I wasted an entire night. Looks like it led to the royal quarter. Ah, so there was... Okay, so there's the noble quarter, the royal quarter... Or no, wait. Has it always been called the royal quarter? I thought it was like the lower quarter, the noble quarter, then the royal quarter. I can't remember. Everything looks so different from the windows of the castle. Ah, come on. You sound like this is your first time out of the castle. Oh, Yuri. That's exactly what every protagonist says when they meet the princess that's never been allowed out of the castle. Ah, uh, well, I... I guess a lady who lives in the castle can't just take a walk outside whenever she wants. Yes, you're right. Well, hey, at least we made it out of the castle. What on earth? Uh, was that not right? What part, what, what would make you think that poking his palm would be right? Nah, it's fine. Alright, so Yuri doesn't know what a handshake is, and uh, Esteliz does not know what a high five is. Duly noted. So, Esteliz, what are you going to do now that you're out? I'm going to find Flynn. Do you know where he went? Good question. The other day, he said he was going off on a night's pilgrimage. Ah, the pilgrimages that were so prominent in Symphonia. Ah, that thing. Going around the cities of the Empire, piling up good deeds. Yes, that's why I'm going to the City of Blossoms, Halur. 
Halur is the first place that knights traditionally visit on a pilgrimage. Yeah, but like, he left the other day, and he's got a head start on you. Wouldn't it be smarter to go to the second place that knights traditionally visit so that you can catch him there? So you'll need to go outside the barrier. Have you ever been beyond the barrier? A little while back. I'd like to go, but I can't just leave the lower quarter like it is. Come on, I'll show you the way out of town. It's on the way to the lower quarter. Thank you. Do I really need to read it when they only say thank you? Like, come on. The odds are that all of us are at least somewhat weeb trash who watch anime. We all know that arigato means thank you in Japanese. Do do do. I want to walk past you. I'll talk to you. Why not? Can I not go this way? Just look at the low folk miserably crawling about in the muck again today. Don't you wish you could crush them beneath your heel? Dude, this man needs to be locked up. He's actually got, like, a mental disorder of some type to be talking like that. He is clearly a psychopath. Hello, save point, my good friend. Why? Okay, wait a minute. My phone is going off again. What is this? That doesn't matter. These people need to stop texting me. All right. Sorry about that. Good and saved up. All right, to the lower quarter we go. Uh, 